Hello Wargamers, happy Wargaming. Uh, today I want to share with you two uh, models, this is only one of course, uh, that I have been working on for a long time, and by working on I mean neglecting. Um, two, two models that have been sitting on my desk primed for a long time that I finally decided to just finish. And um, the first is this Commander Farsight model. And uh, this is something that I had started working on back when I lived in Indiana. So this has been several years uh, that I've been waiting to finish this guy. Um, I picked him up right when he came out, so that does tell you a little bit more about how long that's been. Uh, it's been so it's been quite a while, and I realized that with the new Crisis suits, this guy is going to be very out of place. But nonetheless, I still think it's a great model. Super excited. Um, I was able to fix some minor uh, warping with it so that he actually is uh, standing up straight. Um, you can see he actually has a fairly good pose. He's not leaning forward like he's trying to sniff the ground or that he actually is tripping over this rock. Um, but yeah, so I, I painted this using my normal color scheme and uh, yeah, did some uh, dry brush highlighting followed by edge highlighting and um, the thing that that really made me wait to do this was actually the dom blade. I was hoping to go for something that was looking a little bit like marble and um, it didn't didn't turn out perfectly but I think it's good enough. Um, I probably would have worked out better if I had a finer point uh, brush but basically how I did this was created a, a mixture of white and uh, bone and a little bit of brown in there and uh, thinned that out, streaked it across the blade, and then went back and uh, used a mixture with a, uh, a similar mixture with black added to it or, or brown added to it um, to try to pick out some of the natural grain of those brush strokes that I had. And once I did that um, with uh, uh, basically a coarse brush, I went in there with a fine brush and picked out more, more detail, kind of making a lightning pattern with it. and. Uh, that's how I got that effect. So this is my Farsight model um, and uh, you know not not the best work I've done but still something that uh, you know turned out all right something that I'm glad to have finished. Um, really the thing that I, I like most about this model are the um, spines back here and how I was able to get a bit of a, a gradient see how this is really light down here and darker. Whoa probably would help if I put it in front of the camera. But you can see on the edge it's it's really light and then at the base it's dark. So I think that was kind of fun. Alright, so there's Farsight. Welcome to the party. You're late. <laughs> Alright, the other one is my Ghost Keel. So, and I have the drones for this too of course, but um, did not want to bring them downstairs to show you. <laughs> uh, so I finished the Ghost Keel. Excited about that as well. Um, really not a lot to say about this. I, I, it really made me want to paint more ghost gills though. This was such a fun model to paint. There's so many details to it, so many different surfaces and angles uh, that really make it interesting. It's not all the same uh, blocky design repeated over and over throughout the model. It's all sorts of different angles and shapes and, and uh, features that really make it interesting to paint. Uh, and So I, I hope I can pick up a few more of these guys sometime soon and actually get them painted in any timely manner. But yeah, so I will point something else out about this guy is that I used um, a different color green because uh, previously I, I was still using Dark Angels green, believe it or not. So like this is a Dark Angels green that has been uh, lined up and used, but I decided that I was not going to use my Dark Angels green anymore. So. I uh, went with a, a bit more of a turquoise color, and I'm not sure how I like it. I think it, I think it looks okay, um, but it doesn't stand out quite as much. So I think I might go back to to the equivalent of Dark Angels Green for other models. But overall, uh, I like it. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and of course, happy working.